my name is Obet, and as we go on, the basic thing you are going to be doing is to look at how my journey in the University of Ghana as a freshman has been so far. Right. So let's move into our focus for today. I'll begin with acknowledgments. I want to acknowledge God, who is the reason why everything I do in life works. And I'll also acknowledge my parents and my siblings who have been a backbone. I have a worry free stay here. And it's because I have a family that loves me and they're supporting me in every way. And my mentor, oh, my mentor is like the best. He's the reason why I'm actually in the University of Ghana doing the course I do. As you move on, you know more about that. Um, what are we going to be discussing? Basically, I'm going to take you through how my journey so far has been as a college freshman, starting from who I am, down to the kind of school I'm in, down to how my social life is, all the way to my academic life, and then what I would um, speak to the, the leadership of the school about, given the opportunity based on the experiences that I've had so far as a freshman. So let me begin by introducing you to what we'll be doing, although I've already said it. I'm going to be taking you through how life for me as a freshman has been. Everything about my life, from academic to social, to um, my extracurricular life, and everything in the University of Ghana. I like this background for you, just in case you're wondering why. It's typical of my school, because this is the background of my, my hall, and I want you to have a feel of it as we move on in the discussion. My Biography, who am I? My full name is Obed Kofi Atakra Ijaakum. I was born into a family of five on the 23rd, January, 23rd of January 2004. And I had my primary education in Koferia. But then I came to Accra to attend Persian Jambo Secondary School. That is why you see the picture on the left with me and my mate. And that is the picture of me on the right. So that is basically who I am. I believe in honesty. I believe in discipline. I believe in um, hard work and service to humanity because that is how I was raised. That is who I am. And what is my school? My school is, I mean, what did my school? And I say, what is my school? I want you to know what the um, University of Ghana is. The University of Ghana is the oldest public university in Ghana, established during the days of colonialism. That is why if you probe into the history of the school, you find out that it was initially called the University College of the Gold Coast. But after the school gained autonomy and full status, we changed the University of Ghana. And consistently, it has been one of the best you know, um, second, um, tertiary institutions that is producing top-notch intellectuals for the country. Um, this is the leadership of the school. The two pictures you see on the right the one on top is the vice, the chancellor of the school, Dr. Mary Shinari Hees. And then the one beneath is the vice chancellor, who is Professor Nanama Amfo. That is the current leadership of the school. Now, moving on. The colleges and departments, if you study the charts here, you would know the number of colleges we have in the school. So we use the college system actually. We have colleges, we have schools under them, and we have departments. So you can just take your, take your time and pause it and then have a feel of um, the statistics of the school, the school's division. So, so we have a number of facilities. We have the Baum Library, which are the two pic the three pictures you see on your right, different views of the Baum Library. That's the one on your left beneath is the UGCS is a, is, is, is a training center and a laboratory for um, trainees, workshops, and for students. And we also have the picture, the topmost part is a building called the John Scotter Building for lectures. That's basically what we do at the John Scotter Building. Why the University of Ghana was my choice and my academic experience? Okay, so the primary reason why I came to the University of Ghana is because um, my mentor, Mm -hmm. He came to the University of Ghana, and he had a rich experience here, which served as the basis for his becoming a top data analyst in the MTN. So I was like, okay, if I want to become like this man, then I should follow his his his, his tracks and come 
to the school so that's like the basic reason why but i've also come to love the school because it's very rich um with a lot of um expertise with respect to the kind of professors they have and my experience here has been excellent my academics has been very great because my lectures are not disappointing me my friends fortunately for me I have friends who are focused and they encourage me to go on and do well in the university of Ghana. Right. So that is why I chose this school and that has been my academic experience so far. Uh, set it in. Beautiful. My, that's my room. It's the internal part. As if you go inside, that's what you see. And it's so beautiful. I like the setting. It's good enough for me. And the washrooms are always excellent because the, wash, the workers here are the top of their game. These are my favorite locations. There's the fountain as the BAM library. It's beautiful and I like to be there because it gives me soundness of mind to cover my reflections. And my extracurricular activity, I was part of the um, University of Ghana Debate Society and I won my freshest debate tournament and that is me in all of those pictures you see over there, right? Also, if I have an interaction with the administrative components of the school, what would I talk about? I would mention two things, especially if I'm giving an audience with the chancellor. I would talk about making teaching and learning comfortable in the halls because I realize that most of the funds we have, that is one observation I've made and I think is worth mentioning, they do not work in the halls, especially in the Jones Quarter building, and they feel that work are noisy. But if we get air conditioners, I'm sure it would help. The lectures will have comfortability and students will also study comfortably. And also the kind of furniture we have ergonomically is not good enough for studies because if you sit for long hours listening to lectures, you can't even concentrate because you're not in a comfortable space to um, um, study because the it's very seat your own is giving you a comfortable feeling. These things might be minor, but I think they'll make a significant change when students are comfortably studying. I believe this is going to be helpful. So that is my journey so far. I believe you loved it and you're already falling in love with the university and you want to be a part of it. So thank you. My freshman journey has been balanced enough from my academic to social and extracurricular engagements. I'm quite hopeful that I will survive and excel in the years ahead of me in the University of Ghana. Thank you very much.